This time the quick speed shop, the frame's finally painted. I'm going to start putting the chassis back together for the Model A Hot Rod Shop. Alright, the first thing I had to do was put the rear leaf springs in. Man, I'm really getting down to the uh, the bottom of the barrel here on this anisees. I'm just going to put some on the bolt. I think I'm going to put a little bit on the uh, the rubber faces, the rubber here, so it doesn't squeak. Just put a little anisees on there. Man, these things are all dusty. Just go ahead, can you see what I'm doing? Sort of, you can. Go ahead and now work this up here and get in there. Put it up here in the. Man. Gonna get a little mallet action. Man, I got some uh, nylon nuts here. Read the nylon nuts that are going to go on the inside of the bolt. Keep that from coming apart. These springs are already painted right from the factory, so I'm just going to run them like they are. I'll take the sticker off down here, but let me get the uh, the other spring on. I've painted the shackles already. We'll get those out, and we'll take a look at the back. All right here in the rear, I've got some dielectric grease. And I'm going to put it on the rubber uh, um, bushings here for the shackles because you can put this on spark plug boots, boots and whatnot and it won't hurt the rubber and it'll keep it uh, lubricated in here. So I'm just going to put a little of that dab around there, dab will do you. Slide these bushings in. Old dab will do you there. And then the same thing up here in the frame. I'm going to put them on the uh, the bushings that go on the frame, which are here somewhere. Aha! Bam. So just put a little action on there. Like that. Nice squeak free operation. Pick up the spring, we'll slide it right together. Now that's in there, I'll just go ahead and I'll take the shackle plate and simply bolts on the back side here. I'll tighten the nuts down. These are uh, locking nuts so they won't come loose. I've got the rear end housing, the bare housing in, um, in rust encapsulator only. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that up here on the frame and I'm going to, on the springs, and I'm going to paint the rear end housing in the frame and then when that's dry, I can reassemble all the parts. But at least I can get the rear suspension back together. It'll be a lot easier to work on the rear end housing when, once it's in the frame instead of trying to do it on jack stands with uh, putting the center section in and putting the axles in. So it'll be nicer to, to bolt it down to the to this leaf springs and then it'll hold it securely so I can reassemble that. All right, I got the rear end wire wheel down and I wiped the whole thing off the lacquer thinner. So I'm just gonna fog this uh, rust converter on in a thin coat on any rusty spots. Uh, it doesn't work on bare metal so I won't get on the shiny parts here. Try not to get on the bare metal.
All right, I got a thin coat, the rust converter on there. I'm just gonna leave it set for a while. It'll start to turn the rust black and then I'll put another thin coat on. And then when it's, it dries in four to eight hours, four to eight hours, I will be able to uh, top coat this with some primer and then some paint, paint it set in black. So I'll leave it set here for a while and I'll go do something else while this is turning the rust black. I think it's already darkening up a little bit. It's warm out now, so it should work good. Okay, bam, there we go. I got all the bolts tightened down. This thing's ready to go. So let me go ahead and I'll grab the rear end housing and we'll get that set up in here and uh, start bolting that down. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, it's a lot easier when it doesn't weigh 15,000 pounds. Bam. Just like that. Whoa. Don't sit on the frame, it's not it's not balanced very good. So here the the housing is here with the the rust converter on it. So hopefully all the, the rust scale on this is turned into inert uh, materials. Let me get out the U-bolts, we'll set the U-bolts on here. I just painted the spring pads. Um, some satin black on those, so I'll get the U-bolts on and we'll go ahead and we'll bolt this thing down. I don't see any reason why not to. Paint's look kinda wet on these uh, spring plates. But I just, hold on, I'm getting a phone call. And I got my U-bolts out here, which I forgot apparently when I was working on this before, I was supposed to get new ones because I just jerry-rigged it together with these and the threads are too long. Or the threads aren't long enough. These U-bolts are too long. So that's gonna put me to a standstill and putting this thing together. These, these are uh, some used U-bolts I had, but they, the threads need to be farther up on the on the. They need, they need to be shorter. These are too long. And I'm not going to stack a bunch of washers up under the nuts, so I'm going to have to hold off on that. So I can't put that back together. So let's go ahead up to the front of the frame. We'll put the steering box on. All right, got the Vega box here. I've got a new Pitman arm for it, but that's not on it this time. Got the. Uh, you have a plate here. I welded the stud through the frame so it ties into the outer frame rail. And then the other two bolts will go directly into the box here. So slide that on there. I've also bought new uh, new U-joints to go on here. They painted those up and when when the uh, cab's back on we can put the U-joints on and put the, cut the steering shaft to length. But uh, that's pretty much the steering box, so I'll get the ratchet, I'll tighten this down. Tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and get some new U-bolts for the rear end so we can put that together. Alright, now that the steering box is bolted on, so I went and I got out some uh, Eastwood Satin Chassis Black and I've painted the rear end over the rust converter. I've put the chassis black on the rear end housing now, so I'll let this dry while I'm getting the U-bolts tomorrow. And uh, then hopefully I can bolt this back together once it sets up but this will uh, dry satin black just like the frame rail is. So once this dries and I get it bolted down, I can paint the center section, I can put the center section in here. I'm running the 355 gear with a limited slip on this 8 inch Ford, I'll put that in there. And then I'm gonna put new axle seals in the rear end housing here and then put the axles back in with the backing plates and all that. So we can, at least we can put the wheels back on and get the rear to roll. All right, bam, I went to a three-way spring and I got some brand new U-bolts that are uh, the same size obviously, but they've got threads way farther up on here, if you can see that. There's, these only had threads like an inch and a half, and these are like three inches. So these work awesome. I, I rattle canned some black on them the other day. And uh, I've been super busy at work, so I haven't made any progress on this in like the last four days. And I think this is going to be a short video because I haven't got that far. But I've been super busy with things, and uh, it's Sunday night now. So we're just going to stick these U-bolts on here for now and uh, go from there. But a little bit of progress is better than no progress. Summertime is hard because I'm super busy with all kinds of things, trying to go to car cruises, trying to do this. It's my busy season at work. So working in the garage time gets severely cut down and it's, it's all I can do to keep two videos coming out a week. So I'm trying to do what the best I can here with what I got. So here's a little progress for tonight. But the, uh, 
I made these shock mounts earlier. I just welded a half inch bolt onto these uh, spring plates with a little washer for the rubber of the, uh, sh of the shock absorber. And then simply clamp on here. Get in there. Bam, like that. That'll fit nice. I don't know if you can see that. Let me zoom in for the action. Hold on, I'll zoom in. Got some big fat washers and these uh, heavy duty nuts for these axle, for these U-bolts here. So, oops. Go ahead and throw these up on. These U-bolts U-bolts are going to be a little bit long. I'll trim them off when we're all done. Get this thing ready to go. Bam, you can see that. It's just that easy to go up on there. Let me get both sides done and then uh, we'll get out the rear shocks. We'll put the rear shocks on up in, in this action here. Oop. These are the shocks that I ran on the truck originally. I can't remember if they're Speedway or Pete and Jake's, but they're uh, a tube shock here. I'm just going to collapse this guy down and get on the mount. I uh, added some silicone grease to the to the mount so it will uh, not squeak. Oh, not squeak the rubber. Need a get this out of here like that. Bam. And uh, got some washers and nylock nuts that came with the stud kit here. The stud's kind of long, so what I'm gonna do is. When I crank this down, I'll probably take a sawzall and cut the stud off a little bit so it's not hanging way out. I've got my fav bolts down here. i got some big nylock nuts to hold these on down here. I'll tighten that down, but bam, there we go. There's what it looks like with the rear shocks. They both face this way. When I get all this tightened down, and uh, now that I've tightened down the U-bolts, I'm going to go ahead and tonight before I leave, spray some more black on all the hardware here, get everything all blackened up and uh, painted up nice so there's no bare metal showing that will turn into rust later. All right, so there we go. The shocks are installed. I've cut the bolts off and hand filed them down so they're not sharp here. I've left about four threads showing with a nylock, so it's a good nice length on here. So that's all bolted down, ready to go. Um, I haven't sandblasted the backing plates for the rear end yet, but as soon as I get to those, I can paint those and put those on, then we can put the whole rear end back together put the axles back in it and uh, put the get the uh, wheels on it here so I can roll around. I've also taken the front spring and I've put the, the shackles back in here in the front so this thing's getting ready to put back in but I've got to get the frame back a little bit because the engine's in the way and I can't get to the front suspension. But I've run out of things to do. I've run out of parts. i got to wait to get, like I said, to get the backing plate sandblasted. So I think I'll go stop right here. I'm just going to rattle can some black onto the exposed hardware and uh, button this up. I've already chassis blacked the rear end. I did that the other day. That's nice and dried up nice and uh, semi-gloss black here now so that's ready to go. And uh, I think the progress is, is a little bit slow because I've been so busy but it's coming along. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for alerts. Tell your friends. And as always we'll see you right here at the Quick Speed Shop.